Hello, my name is Herman Lewis and welcome back to my channel, The Last Natufian. I found something special in the eastern desert of Egypt yesterday and wanted to share right away. I found a man being crucified. As you can see right here, here's Google Maps on the left. I'll zoom in to make it look the same here, but I did mark it here. So what you have is you've got the, the cross here, right? There's a man strapped to it, his head is bowed down. You've got a, uh, a mark right here on the side of the rib cage right here, right? An injury, right? Um, just like the stories, here's the thighs and the knees and here's the feet tied to it. It's just absolutely magnificent, it is. And where it is, is just like the stories say afterwards, it's on a mountain. Right here, and as you can see, the skin has been flayed off. It's about 200 meters across, okay, as you can see at the bottom here. And you know, let me move this over, and let's take a look. So when you come up here to the chest, and come over and look over, there's one arm that way. Again, about you know 200 meters. And that direction goes towards the Nile. This direction towards the Red Sea, there's the other arm that way. Sorry, my hand's in the way. Let me come up. And then you can tell, I'm gonna turn around backwards and this way here and you'll see there's, there's Safaga, Safaga where the, uh, the roads from uh, Kina and Luxor come from over here, from the Nile. So I was doing some Egypt work when I found this. It's magnificent. So let me come back around, but there's another detail too. When you come up and look down, not only is there a head slumped down, there's a head alive above, if you can see this. Okay, and I did do this drawing here. I'm not the best artist, but let's start from the top. The head is right up here. You can see that with, with a ponytail like right there. And the parallel lines is like a crown or something on the head, right? You see the two dots for the eyes right here, then the nose, and then the, the, the chin is like a, a protruding chin right here. I can zoom in on that. And actually when you do zoom in, so there, the head that's, that's bowing right here, like when they, they're dead, and this one that's alive, I mean, there's two heads, it's amazing. Well, watch this, it's lenticular. You can only see it from above correctly. It's fantastic. And for the eyes here, there's some blue type, you know, you can see the stones are a little different than the rest. And the crown, let's come around to the crown. There's thorns, yes, of course. Here are the parallel lines, right, that we saw from above. And when you look to the side, it's just a bunch of crown, a bunch of thorns on the crown. Thorn, 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 thorn. Absolutely stunning. So let's get some more detail on where this is. Let's put everything on here and show you. Sorry for this, this is just, you know, amateurish and uh, the best I got. So you've got the uh, the, the ancient quarry here at, at Mons Porphyrites, if I say that right, you've got the ancient footpath. And when I zoom out a little more, you've got uh, uh, ancient forts, the Roman forts right here, because the, the path comes right through here. They're within a kilometer or two of all this. And they could see this from a distance. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. I'm gonna keep this short, you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? And you can see the circle around it. Still some of the circle is there. I don't know if there was ever a full circle, but that's how I found it. And let's just let it fade back into the desert of the Middle East, the beautiful Middle East. Happy solstice, everybody. Finding this and finding Jesus, you know, it's got all the, the, the telltale signs of it. Um, you know, it's on a glorious mountain. It's, uh, it's just magnificent. So uh, um, have a great end of the year. Peace on earth to everybody. Find peace.